Hey everybody and welcome to day 23 of 31 in 31 and today um, I have a weird one for you and uh, it's not necessarily weird in a bad way um, I just don't know what to think of it uh, in, in general I think it's interesting so uh, to, to make a long story short so I was watching uh, or not watching but I was looking for the movie that you know, I was going to look to watch for Dave. If you don't know, I have a giant list that I made with all these different movies on it. And some of the movies have been really hard to find. A lot of them, it just turns out that it's like, it's more of a want, want to watch rather than an actual, hey, I'm able to find it and able to watch it and all this stuff. And um, it's kind of like that when it comes to like the, a lot of the anime horror that's out there. There's sites that have it, there's sites that don't. And, and some of it's really hard to find. There's one I don't think I'm going to be able to find. Um, one, because I don't have a library card. And that seems to be the only way. Canopy is actually a really cool service if you've never heard of it before. If you have a library card, there's a lot of stuff that's available. A lot of audiobooks, a lot of movies and stuff like that. And if I can find it another way, I'm still going to, you know, I'm going to still try to watch it when I get the chance. Um, if I can find it. It's It's hard. But uh, I found a list, when since I wasn't able to find the one I was looking for, it's just not available anywhere. And I found a list of, like, anime body horror movies, and I was like, okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's check some of these out. So that's where I found today's movie, which is called King of Thorn. Um, and it's not really body horror. I don't know why it's on that list. I, I, I don't, but uh, it's more like survival horror, to be honest, and... Uh, it's it's a little bit longer than I thought I kind of wanted. It was It's like an hour and 50 minutes, and I think that hurts it some. But what I realized when, you know, kind of like pausing it and being like, okay, wh where is this thing kind of going? Because sometimes when I'm like not sure about something, I want to like read just a little bit about the movie. Um, yeah, I spoil myself a little bit, but I wanted to learn what exactly this came from. Is it brand new? Is it not? Turns out that it's a manga series that got turned into a full length movie, uh, instead of it being, you know, a, uh, a whole anime series. And I think that it would definitely help it being there. Cause there is like a little bit of a mystery in there and there is a big twist at the end of the movie, which I'm still like, when I, when I saw it, I, I just was like, what? Like literally that was like, what, what is, what is that? And then Oh, like after looking at, Oh, that's what it was like. I'm like, I'm a goddamn idiot. Um, but it still was, yeah, it's still good. Like, I think that this is a good, good movie. I think, uh, I hear that the ending is different than the ending of the manga series. And there's two characters that were completely removed from the movie, which I'm, I wonder how, like the, the kind of like, there's like basically a main antagonist and there isn't really an antagonist in this movie. And I thought that somebody would be, and then I was like, wait a second, I bet you it's this, and then I was totally right. So, what's what's the basic premise of this movie? Well, uh, there is this disease called Medusa that's going around. And Medusa turns people to stone, hence why it's called Medusa. And there is another group, there's a group called the Vance Gate Group, which supposedly is run by religious fanatics. And they're deciding to make like their own Noah's Ark, where they're going to go... And put uh, 160 people in the the manga. It's 169 in the movie. It's 160. I don't know why they shorted it by nine people. Must be one of those damn changes that they did. Uh, but you, they they basically select all these people, and our main protagonist uh, is a girl. I think it's Ishami or Kasumi. I think Kasumi. I, I again, I'm terrible with fucking names when it comes to these things. Um, and well, she has a twin sister, and she's going to be picked to be a part of the Ark, but her sister isn't. So they, you know, her with another group of ragtag people, they, you know, go to sleep uh, in the their little, like, you know, ice pods. I'm not going to try to say chirogenic, because I always mess it up, even though I might have actually said it right there. 
Uh, but they're basically putting in their sleep pods. They're supposed to sleep. They could sleep up to 100 years until this is cured, right? And at the same time, they're going to be analyzing their dreams and they can actually kind of, they say with this computer Alice, they can actually control their dreams. Well, they wake up unknown where they are and all hell breaks loose. And there's these creatures that are stalking them. There's like these cool little flying creatures that they have that like the first time when I attack somebody, it rips her face off. Uh, it, it doesn't get like super bloody, but it does. And, and the thing is, is that it's just a lot of them trying to survive and these things are chasing them. And that's, that's where like definitely the horror aspect fits it. But the story is interesting and I'm still like, there's parts of it where I was kind of like, okay, yeah, I get it. It's like anime, you know, tropes with, with what it's doing, but Overall, like, th this is something that I'd love to discuss more in full than less than a spoiler-free type of thing, because there's just interesting things that, you know, there's, like, basic stuff that leads to really interesting things, and I think one of the choices when I read, like, where the manga ends in certain parts to where this goes, um, they kind of showcase something, and I don't know why they decided to go this route with this one. That was the only thing. Like, why change the ending that much between two characters? So, and maybe because you have more time to get connected to those characters and for them to get connected. I, I don't know. But um, I still give this... It's it, I think this is a solid three out of five uh, little bat things. Um, I think that that's, that's cool. I think that it's... It, it just is a little long in tooth. Um, but I think that it's entertaining. It's not... It doesn't hit the four where I'd be like, oh, I have to go back and watch it. Like, that's that's kind of where I'd put a four. You know, and a five, for, it's just for me, it's an all-time classic. Like, I whenever, like, if it were to come on, like, regular TV. Like, back in the day when we used to watch regular TV and a movie would just pop up, I'd sit and watch the whole thing again and again. Or I want to show it to people or those types of things. Where, you know, a four is I think it's a really great movie and it's just shy of doing that. But again, I wouldn't mind, you know, I think it's more, more like a must watch for you guys where a three, I think it's good. And I think that if you, if you are in the mood for this type of movie, then it fits it. Right. And if you're looking for more like anime type of horror that maybe you haven't heard of before, King of Thorn is not a bad movie to watch. Um, so I guess, yeah, that's it for this one, and we'll see you on the next little mini, uh, or not the little mini, I feel like I'm recording a little mini podcast. Uh, no, we'll see you next one on these 31 and 31s, so, uh, see you soon. <laughs>